So I want to take five, 10 minutes just to talk about Sweden and uh, some of my Swedish metal books that I have and a special Swedish metal release to me. So I have this one, Swedish Death Metal by Daniel Eckeroth. Again, this is mostly focusing on old school Swedish death metal. The kind that's big again right now. And then another cool thing about this book is this lengthy glossary of pretty much every Swedish death metal band um, who at least made a demo, I think, up until the publication of this. So, cool book. Next up is Skagen Zion Anthology. 1993 to 1996 during those um, you know exploding years of black metal so again this is not a book but a sign anthology and I've had it for a while but I just uh, got around to finishing it off a couple months ago and I thought it was really good blood fire death the Swedish metal story another cool book uh, this one has you know it's each chapter is its own story but of course there's a red line that connects the whole book and there's chapters on dissection um, Niflheim oh so many but there's a chapter on Bathory where there's a lot of information that was new to me and I'm a pretty big Bathory fan so uh, it's nice to be surprised. This next book is going to lead me into the album I, I want to talk about and this album is called, sorry this book is called A Journey in Darkness, The Life and Music of a Man Called It. It was the Swedish musician who was in several bands, Bonder, Abruptum, Ophthalamia, and several others. And this book is very short. It's like 100 pages with uh, not very many words on each page. So you can finish it in an hour. But it was pretty cheap on Amazon. I couldn't believe it. When I saw it, I had no idea it existed. And I'm happy to have it. So the album I'm listening to right now is one of my favorite Swedish metal albums of all time, and it's Ophthalmia Via Dolorosa. This was her second album. The first one was called A Journey in Darkness, and that had John from Dissection as a member, and that was a great album too. And their, I don't know if it was the final album, I think it was, it was called Dominion, it was based on Macbeth. That was a great one too. But this one to me is her masterpiece. I've always liked this album cover, it's just mysterious. And Kind of strange. It's a picture of the band and uh, drawing pictures of them. On this album, Legion from Marduk fame was the vocalist. And this album is just unique. I've never heard anyone uh, do it since, even though you think it wouldn't be that hard to at least try. But it's just uh, constantly changing guitar melodies, dominate it. Um, quite easy to listen to with the exception of, well, I mean, we love it, but uh, the screaming vocals, other than that, I think it's a pretty accessible album. And uh, it's one of my favorites I've had since I was probably 15, 16 years old. That was probably a couple years after it came out. And uh, just talking about Sweden and metal, I was there on vacation last summer, and uh, I spent some time in a town called Varberg, which was about an hour south of Gothenburg on the west coast. And there was this fortress by the water, and it was just a 10 minute walk from where I was staying. And so you just walk along the boardwalk at night, and just like at dusk, just seeing this old uh, fortress in the distance. And it was really nice and laid back. You could walk the, the grounds and I just remember like, again, like approaching it and listening to uh, Vinterland. Um, welcome my final chapter. I wish I had it on CD, but uh, a total masterpiece. <laughs> uh, and then just walking around the, the grounds and listening to Candle Mass as I looked at the, uh, the 
the stone walls and doors and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's a personal antidote. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.